Hey guys, it's Game Boy Advanced here with more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got, uh, I think that, yeah, we got the grappling hook, and the big key. And in this episode, we will be finishing the dungeon with an epic boss fight that's really easy. Uh, now, I should probably point out that I, in the last episode, um, I turned the game off, um, and I saved, but on my, to make the video more consistent, I went all the way back here, and so I have a few more joy pendants, uh, I have like I only need nine more to have the side quest to complete the game, but I still need like twenty nine more to get the item. What you want to do is obviously just take a water jug and uh throw it on the lava. So it rises up like that. Uh, so, yeah. The boss fights, I'm not gonna really say much about it right now. Um, yeah, we. Yes. Speaking of, well, speaking of sp talking like that, I don't think I've showed off my Dan Green voice yet. For any of you who like the abridged series, I am told I do a pretty good Dan Green impression. I have no idea, but yeah, I'll probably be showing that off sometime or another. I feel rather silly trying to do it right now, but... Okay. So basically what you do here is just grapple your way across a pit of lava and that looked way bigger than it should. Ow. Uh, go ahead and get the yellow rupee right over there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to do something. I won't really need this for for at least this boss fight. Look, you can see the the texture on that wall is kind of glitching. If you can see that, like, as I'm moving it, you can see that the wall, there's nothing behind that wall. It's just white space. Yep. Come here, fairy! Come here! That was cool! Wow, I'm glad I captured that. That that was cool. So if I was... Yeah, it, he, it fully healed me. And I caught it at the same time. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's another treasure chest over here. It's the Knight's Crest. You need ten of these. It's to get a certain thing. I'm not going to say anything about that. It's not required, but it sure helps a lot. There's another joy pendant. So that brings us up to 12, I think. Uh, and I'm not really stalling, because this boss is pretty easy. I'm just trying to get everything I can. Because uh, that's how I am. 
there's a glitch with this boss fight. I don't know if I'll pull it off, but it's pretty funny. I've only done it once, and I found it by accident. Obviously, I don't know who's like, Oh, I bet this leads to a glitch. <laughs> yeah. This is Goma. I think Goma's been at, in at least... Every... Almost every 3D Zelda game. Uh, what you have to do, it, it's a little intimidating. When it jabs its claw like that. Oh, see, like that. That's why... I don't know. It's just with Zelda games. Whenever I have to go into first person with, like, air... What the heck? With arrows or something like that, I always feel intimidated and, like, I'm vulnerable, which I am. How did he do that? This, that was so stupid. No, 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 no! Okay, maybe I am epically failing more than I should. What? Really? Really? I didn't even touch it! That was stupid. No, I don't want your help, stupid boat. Really? I didn't talk to you! What the heck? Really? See, that's why the King of Red Lions is stupid. Really? J just really? Really? That that was that was just lame. I don't believe I'm doing this bad on this boss fight. I I just can't believe it. This boss fight is like the easiest, second easiest one in the game. Okay, finally. Now this is going to start getting a lot easier. I, I can't believe it took that long. That should not have happened. Now... I don't know if he can hurt you. I've never seen it happen, but sure it's possible. Uh, that that just looks scary, no. Really? That was stupid. Okay. That was that was stupid. See, now it gets easier, because you can aim for it right now. God, that was stupid. Yeah, I escaped certain doom. Now, as you saw, I just grabbed onto that ledge thing there. That makes everything a lot easier if you can actually pull it off. Because he can't hurt you whatsoever. Yeah. And then once you get on, it's usually a lot easier from there on out. But... Yeah, this is cool. Uh, he can burn these with his burning powers of... Burning powers. He's a super pyro. So, 
basically, if you bring his eye closer with your grappling hook, it makes everything a lot easier. But he's dead, and I can't believe I epically failed. That boss fight was just one big epic fail. Then he explodes, and yay, we get his head. Look at that, Link's not even scared that his disembodied head just flew right in front of him and exploded. He's happy. He's one psychotic little Toon Link. Yeah, and then you get a part container, which allows you to have one more heart, which is nice. And I can't believe how bad I epically failed on that. Valud's the Sky Spirit, so now that he's all happy, the skies are cleared. Which is good, because swimming in that pond with all that soot was just disgusting. Oh, and in case you were wondering, I'm 98% sure that that, that Valud's little cry right there, that's, uh... An elephant backwards, ba an elephant's call backwards and a little slower. Well, P Prince Kamali, don't you have to say, don't you have something you have to say? Or don't you have something you, yeah, whatever. So, he's sorry that he was mean to us. He hopes that. He's like us someday, and he gives us this orb. Which is good, because that's what we need. You've received Din's Pearl. This is... This is the gem the Rito's claim was passed down from generations by their goddess. Epic. Yeah. I I don't God I've been getting stuff on camera that's a lot cooler than I've hoped. Like him yawning during the cutscene. Getting the fairy while it healed me. Uh doing the grappling hook thing. I don't know, maybe my game's just getting old and it's glitching out a lot more. You don't know the half of it. 